Hey. Oh, we already got people here. What up, John W? <laughs> that, that's me. I am the boy with the tiger tattoo. How's everybody doing tonight? Hey, Anthony. Thanks for popping in. So I got, I decided I would finally do this guy. I've had um, this Lando book sitting on my desk for a long, long time. I don't even remember where I got it from. Um, but I thought it'd be great to finally put a Lando on here. Yeah, and I'm gonna do the um, the Donald Glover version. I am a big fan. Here's the picture I found to work from. Incredibly charming. Yeah, so that's the plan. I think I am going to take this down though. I was thinking maybe I wouldn't, but um, I think it'll look really good with a little white border. Trying to think if there's any good news from this last week. It's been a pretty mellow week for me. I um yeah, I'm just been doing my stuff and it's been uh, pretty quiet. Hey Kelly. Yeah, two is tapping around here someplace. Um, just a heads up, um, I'm going to take next week off, so there won't be a stream next Friday. Hey, Edie. It's good to see you. So I have only ever done a handful of these um, sketch covers. This appears to be the first one I've ever done that it looks like they have pretty decent paper. Usually um, the ones that I've done in the past have had like a glossy paper and they are really awful. But um, this one feels a little bit toothy. It feels like a, a pretty like middle of the road Bristol board. So it'll be fun to see how it takes ink and stuff. Well, hello, Math Raptor. Okay, here we go. thinking I got like trying to get that just a little bit more centered okay so I'm thinking, head over here. I love Donald Glover's hair in whatever, what was this Star Wars thing? Solo, was that the name of the show? <laughs> Like I can't think of very many people who actually could pull off the um, a young Lando 
other than Donald Glover. I thought he was fantastic. Again, I'm having to do a likeness. Let's see if I can get as lucky as I did with the um, Alfred Hitchcock one. It's doing someone smiling like this is probably a mistake. That's hard. Like right now, he looks like an exact halfway between Billy D and Donald Glover. If anybody, I don't know if anybody here is in the Portland area, but I'm going to be at, um, what is that on the 20th, I think? Yeah, the 23rd. So um, if you're around, come say hi. I'm going to be doing a signing at the Dark Horse booth and, um, and doing a panel. Man, I haven't had a Colt 45 in so long. I couldn't tell you. I um I can't eat or drink gluten. So I haven't had like a beer or malt liquor in forever. <laughs> Does it even come in anything other than a 40?
<laughs> no bail money beer. Man, but Billy D made it seem so classy. So smooth. Yeah, what is he doing nowadays? Is he even, what's Billy D doing? Like, is he even like, doing comic conventions or anything? Like, I don't even know. Oh, he was going to let the Disney Plus series, I presume. That would have been fun. I think there's like, I don't know, it would be tough to do. Like, I think that um, a Lando show would have to like really thread a needle between being like funny and and serious. <laughs> yeah, they they offer everyone a Disney Plus show. I'm waiting on my my offer. <laughs> the random lady who's like, "What's your name?" and she's like, "My name is Ray, Ray Star Wars." Got to look up what these playing cards looked like. Oh, that's they were like this. with M's on them. <laughs> oh, Derek, it doesn't look like there's going to be any more Tales of Harrow County um, anytime soon. Yeah, unfortunately, that series just didn't seem to really take off. I think, I don't know, I got, I feel like probably if Colin and I had done that together, it might have done okay, but... Um, But I don't think people liked the change of artist. Even though I, I really think that the artists that we got were amazing. <laughs> oh, the, um, wait, was that his daughter who in, um, what you call it? In Solo? Oh, 
Oh, Derek, yeah, good luck with those, um, finding those library editions. Actually, you know what, Derek, um, send me, if you get a chance, send me an email through my website. You can just go on there and go to the contact me thing and I'll look, I may have, um, library editions for two, two and three. And if I do, I'll sell them to you at, at cover price or whatever, plus shipping. I'll be right back. I got to go get some water. I forgot to fill up my thing with for paint water, this little guy. <laughs> water is code for Colt 45. What was the tagline for that? Oh my god, I forgot. I knew they had a really good tagline, but um, the tagline is, works every time. <clears throat> That's really good. Hmm. This paper is a little bit suspicious. He really is soaking up the ink. Like usually you want, or at least I want, like the ink to sit on top of, on the surface of the paper a little bit. And this is definitely like just slurping it right inside. Just making it hard to get a, like a fine line. It wants to bleed a little bit, it feels like. Is malt liquor actually considered beer? Is it just beer with more alcohol in it?
He's got like one of those gummy smiles. <laughs> Alfred E. Calrissian, that's good. It's definitely a what may worry kind of guy. I did put the chickens in their coop. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, talk about that. Um, that was actually a commission. So yeah, it was sold before I even did it. That one was fun though. I was um, very happy when I, because um, it's one of the, those things, it's like the request is just for like Lord of the Rings characters or scene. And it's always fun when you can come up with something with like good storytelling potential. Like, I do not do very good with just doing, like, character pinups. I always want to sort of turn them into storytelling things. My reference photo does not show Lando's goatee very good. It actually looks kind of inconsistent, like all the um, 
like the the way his goatee looked in the movie versus what it looks like on like all the publicity stills and stuff that they did. That's funny. Man, I said I really liked the Uncle Lover's hair, but now that I'm drawing it, I take it back. Jesus. That's tough. It's like a loose curl. Well, I mean, medium. <laughs> I think I'm going to treat it like the old dark at the center and catching light towards the outside. So the plan is to, for this, is I think I'll get it all inked, then I'll erase my pencils as best I can, then I'll hit it with some airbrush, and then go back in with some highlights. So it's going to be pretty, I think we're going to do pretty monochromatic. I mean, the scene I'm working from is like basically that orange. So I think I'm gonna keep it kinda around like that. Oh yeah, Kelly's right. Don't forget to like the video. I'm trying to get over my like weird hang up about telling people to like and subscribe to the video.
<laughs> done. What are you talking about? Oh, done by liked and liked. Okay. I was like, this isn't done, dude. <laughs> I still got to do the eyeballs even. It feels like the lightness is starting to come together a little bit. Um, Tugboat, no, I don't think they'll have the Headless Horseman comic at RCCC. I think, um, I don't think that'll be out until early October. But I think... Don't know any, don't have any details about it yet, um, but there is supposed to be uh, an event in Portland for the Headless Horseman when that comes out. And you guys will be the first to know. Hey, Stacy, thanks. Thanks for dropping in. I did hear about uh, the Bill Willingham thing. Um, it's so funny. Like, um, 
Well, I'm not, I'm not a Willingham fan. Um, I don't, I don't know the dude, but um, I've not heard a ton of good stuff about him, but uh, it's so funny. Like uh, DC put out a statement today that was like, um, please note that fables is not in the public domain that we own the copyright. So I would hold off before you put any fables stuff in print. Yeah, I heard Willingham was writing for Breitbart a little bit. I don't know if that's true. Just uh, someone who I like and respect said that, so I presumed it was true. <laughs> yeah, Math Raptor. I think that is uh, the way to go. If you want to do Snow White stories, go wild. You don't have to wait for Bill William to say that it's okay. And in fact, I feel like um, people could make a could make much more interesting stories if they don't do fables stuff. Yeah, it's tough, like, because DC also doesn't have, like, the best reputation for creator-owned stuff. And I imagine the contracts for the creator-owned stuff are very um, complex. Because I'm sure they cover not just the comics, but also like the, um, you know, media and toys and cross promotions and like what happens if one of those characters appears in Superman, shit like that. I didn't even know there was a Fables movie. Yeah, and you know, I haven't read many of the black label books. I should um, dig into those a little bit. I think, um, yeah, like I would trust, I would trust Dark or DC for like um, work for hire stuff. In fact, I would love to do work for hire stuff for them. But I don't think DC is interested in creator own stuff anymore. So I would definitely take that somewhere else. But the black label seems good. A lot of the, I've done some, some work recently for DC and all the editors I've worked with have been fantastic. And no, I can't say what it is yet.
What did I just say, Tugboat? <laughs> Man, I do, I will say that I think I would be incredibly well suited to do a Swamp Thing comic. Into the Woods. Maybe I should check that out. I know Ma read a ton of Fable stuff. And I think they really enjoyed it. Back in the day. But I don't think we, I think we got rid of them when we, with a move over the years. Oh, Stacy, yeah, Poison Ivy book would be interesting. I haven't read a ton of Poison Ivy. I don't know if I'm a like a sexy woman kind of cartoonist. I'd like to be. <laughs> but I don't know if I am. I feel like being super hot is one of um Poison Ivy's like things. Oh, uh, we got rid of them after learning about Willingham. Willingham? Willingham? It's always a huge bummer when people who make things that you enjoy are not cool. I mean, if you like my comics and you find out I'm not cool, it's probably because I'm a dork and not because I'm a dick. Oh, thanks, Ed. I I would also buy a Swamp Thing comic that I made. I would buy a bunch of copies. <laughs> <laughs> L9L.
Okay, these cards are like an M and a W. I wonder if they were supposed to be that or if it was just the design that they came up with. Oh, thanks, E.D. I think I still got a little bit more volume to add to it. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to add, after I airbrush, I think I'm going to do, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I have not seen Magic Mike XXL. In fact, I don't even know what that is. I thought it was a cartoon. <laughs> What's the show, the movie with the talking teddy bear? We're like a talking teddy bear that cusses. For some reason, I thought that was Magic Mike XXL. Ted, that's the one, yep. Well, I feel like this likeness is a little bit dubious, but I'll take it. It's close enough for a comic book. Oh, is that what Bill Willingham was up for? Like, I knew he sort of like everyone was sort of figured out that he was a jerk all at once, but I couldn't remember what it was.
Are you down there researching him, Maat? <laughs> yeah tugboat there's a giant robot book and there's also the um there's like a corbin thing coming up the hellboy corbin book that looks kind of cool i don't know exactly what it is it's some sort of like an artist edition or something Those new Corbin books that are coming out look incredible. I am very excited to, when I go to Rose City, I'm gonna pick up that new Den edition. And I can't wait. The like restoration and coloring they did on that seems really incredible. All right, time for airbrush. I'm gonna do these two browns. This is antelope brown right here, and this is burnt umber. And the antelope brown is a very interesting brown because it is very brown, but then when you put it on thin, it is like yellow, it's very golden. And you can see, Well, you can't see, it just looks like black on the screen, doesn't it? It's very brown, but then when I spray it on, it's gonna be yellow. <clears throat> It's not, it's going on very brown. Well, it's a little bit golden. I made an assumption though. I thought it would go down just like when I put down a watery version of this with a brush, it comes out very yellow, but airbrushing it is like a golden brown. That's a trip. You're a fan, fan of all the burnts. Burnt umber is like oddly one of those colors that I have a very hard time like getting a good one with watercolor because they are all over the place. Like sometimes they're very red, sometimes they're very sort of green.
You know what? Now I'm going to do a little Payne's Gray for the background, I think. And then we'll go back in with some highlight colors. Well, like white for a highlight. Getting a little bit chunky. Time to do a big clean out of my airbrush. Pretty fun. Okay, I think I'm going to hit it with a little bit of a burnt umber wash to try to sort of clarify some of the forms on his, on his face and stuff. And I think now that I've done the airbrush, I'm hoping that the paper will sort of like behave a little bit better for me. And it's not really behaving a little better for me. Sometimes when you do the airbrush, it'll make the the ink sort of stand up on top of the paper a little bit better instead of sucking in, but it is definitely soaking in.
the papers on these blank covers different to normal? Um, I guess it de depends on what you mean by normal. Like, um, it's usually not very nice paper. Uh, I've definitely bought paper that behaved like this. Um, I think that... Uh, Yeah, I don't know. Like these definitely aren't. It's it's funny because like it just doesn't seem like they choose paper based on its uh, performance for drawing and painting on, which is like the only thing that's intended for. So, and like I, I said earlier, like I don't think I've ever found any of this paper that I thought was nice to draw on. I think if I was doing markers, I would probably be okay. What I should do is I should gesso these or something. Not that I do a ton of sketch covers. Oh yeah, Bo V. Like this is not um, the sketch cover stuff. Is actually like it's some sort of Bristol board paper. Um, I don't know what brand or who makes it or whatever. Um, it's like a thicker cardstock than like the regular um, paper on a on a regular comic. It should not bleed through. I mean, when I take off the the tape, we can look at it, but I don't think it'll bleed through. Hmm. I think I'll do this sort of yellowy, almost white. Nope. Let's try white.
<laughs> yeah, totally got rid of the coffee stains. Yeah, your teeth should be slightly lighter color than your skin tone for almost everybody. Almost everybody. Do a little bit to bring back the logo if we can. Mm -hmm. That didn't work very good. Let's try a little bit of acrylic wash, I think. Try a little bit of this. <laughs> Thanks, my aunt. Yeah, it's making that logo feel important again. All right, Tugboat, this is for you.
All right. All right. I think that's it. Let me hit it with a signature. We'll do it. Then a little hair dryer. All right, some of these white spots are still a little wet, but as long as we're careful. Beautiful. <laughs> Masking it off always makes it look so much better when it's done. This turned out fun. Like I think um, it definitely looks way different in real life. Like I wonder if I can adjust the exposure here. You know, the camera's all set up different. It's a little bit darker in real life. I'll post a scan on the socials and stuff. Um, yeah, but I'm really happy. Like it does definitely like uh, looks more like Donald Glover than I thought it would when I was first started inking it. So the inside, you know what? You can kind of see a little bit of a ghost on like where his chin was. I don't know if it's showing up at all on the thing. Like it looked like if I'd made it a little bit wetter, it may have soaked through. Yeah. Yeah, so, but, like, the the rest of the comic looks great. Who is this? I didn't, I haven't actually even read this. This is, uh, oh, shit, it's Alex, Ma I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Uh, Alex Malev, Malev, Malev. He is a really, really good artist. The interiors on this, I think, are pretty great. Real loose. He's not, like, super, like, um, I don't know what the word is. Like, he doesn't, like, stick to a likeness perfectly. But he does like he does it enough that it's like it actually he gets the feeling of Lando better than he gets like it doesn't look like Billy D. It looks like Lando Calrissian, which is I think exactly where you want to be. He does a great job. He's a great watercolor artist too. If you look him up, what Morgan? It's great to see you. I hope you're doing good. So there's my Lando for y'all. 
I think uh, I think that'll do it for the night. As usual, uh, don't forget to tell the people that you love how much you love them. And I hope you all have a great weekend and a great week. And once again, um, I'm not going to be here next weekend. I'm taking the week off. So um, I hope you guys have a great next Friday. And yeah, that's it. Thanks, everybody. Sorry to bail on you right when you show up, Morgan, but I'm exhausted. I'll see you guys in two weeks. <laughs>